Chagas disease, also known as American trypanosomiasis, is a disease caused by a group of parasites called Trypanosoma cruzi. Chagas disease is named after Carlos Chagas, a Brazilian doctor who first described it in 1909. African trypanosomiasis is a different disease caused by Trypanosoma brucei. It's estimated that about 6 to 7 million people around the world, mostly in Latin America, are infected with this parasite. About 10,000 people die each year because of this disease. Let's have a look at how this disease is transmitted. People can get infected in different ways. The most common way is through several species of blood-sucking insects called triatomine bugs. These insects get infected after biting an infected animal or person. The bugs tend to live in crevices of walls and roofs of houses, most commonly in houses that are made of materials such as mud, straw, and palm thatch. They come out at night to feed on people's blood when they're sleeping. Because they tend to bite people's faces, they're sometimes called kissing bugs. Now, once they bite, these bugs can defecate on the person's skin. Their feces contain the parasites, which can then get into the person's body through the bite site, through mucous membranes, or if there's breaks in the skin. The infection can also be transmitted through food that has been contaminated with feces of the infected bugs, through lab accidents, blood transfusions, organ transplants, or congenitally, from mother to baby. Let's have a look at how the disease presents. There are two main stages of the disease, an acute phase and a chronic phase. In the acute phase, symptoms generally start to develop after about one to two weeks following the bite. These are generally mild and nonspecific. Symptoms include fever, malaise, headache, rash, diarrhea, and vomiting. There could be enlargement of the liver, spleen, or lymph nodes. Sometimes there can be a skin nodule called a shigoma, or a swelling around the eyelid called the romanosine at the site of the insect bite. The symptoms generally last for a few weeks or months. Some people may not have any symptoms. Very rarely, the disease could be severe in the acute phase. This is more common in children or those who are immunosuppressed. The disease then moves on to the chronic phase. In this phase, about 70 to 80% of people may not show any symptoms at all. However, in about 20 to 30% of people, the disease can progress, mainly affecting the heart or the intestine. This can happen 10 to 20 years after the initial infection. In the heart, the disease can cause enlargement of the heart muscle, leading to heart failure or disturbances in the heart rhythm. In the intestine, there can be enlargement of the colon or the esophagus. This can lead to difficulties in swallowing food or passing a bowel motion. It can also affect other parts of the body, such as the ureters. The coexistence of other diseases, such as HIV, can result in the disease manifesting differently. It's also harder to diagnose and treat. Chagas disease is diagnosed by laboratory techniques. The most common method is by detecting the parasite in the blood using microscopy and is useful for the acute phase of the disease. Because there are very few parasites in the blood in the chronic stage, other techniques such as checking for antibodies in the blood or detecting the parasites in tissue biopsies is more useful. Other methods include culture and PCR that detects the genetic fingerprint of the parasite. So, how do we treat the disease? Treatment focuses on two aspects, eliminating the parasite and managing any complications. Antiparasitic medicine can be used to kill the parasite and is most effective in the acute phase. Treating the complications of the disease will depend on the organ affected and how bad the damage to the organ is. They include pacemakers or medication for heart rhythm abnormalities, medication, changes in diet, or surgery for intestinal complications. So how do we prevent and control the disease? There is no vaccine or preventative drugs that can be taken to stop people from getting the disease. Controlling and minimizing contact with triatomine bugs that carry the parasite is one of the most effective ways to control the spread of the disease. This can be done through activities such as spraying houses and surrounding areas with insecticides, improving housing standards and cleanliness to reduce the number of insects living inside, using bed nets. Other measures include reducing the burden of the disease by good surveillance, diagnosis, and treatment, reducing contamination of food through activities such as properly preparing and cooking food, and keeping food covered, 
screening blood supplies and organs to make sure that they don't carry the parasite, screening newborns and other children of mothers who are infected to ensure that the disease is diagnosed early and treated. And that's a quick look at Chagas disease. For more information, have a look at the websites below.